Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and this is an impromptu video I did not script this this is just me speaking my mind and telling you guys that the video that I did is now no longer valid just because EA decided to fix to quote unquote fix the game okay great so I'm gonna interrupt you right there just for a moment this video was actually first planned to be just a video telling you that you guys that the tip that I was putting out on my channel is no longer worth it but this turned into me ranting. If there are some times where I repeat myself over and over and over again, please don't get mad at me because I was, once again, this was not scripted. I just spoke my mind freely. And yeah, just be aware of that. And also, if you get mad at me at this, at some point in this video, because I'm saying some quote unquote controversial stuff, please watch the whole video. I'm saying this of course because only because I want the watch time. <laughs> no, but seriously, watch the whole video and let me explain my points. Let me do that. She, after watching the whole video and listening to all that I have to say, then still disagree with me, then ca you can write me a comment and please be objective however, or please just don't be rude. Okay, that's all I'm asking. I will just treat you with respect. You will hopefully treat me with respect. And this is, this is not, a do or die issue but i think that this is a big problem for me at least it's not something that we need to have war over but i still think that it's a big issue and i think that ea acted horribly and explain that all of that please watch the whole video if you want to critique me that's all i have to say have fun with watching the video and yeah it's the video about the 245 odd run defense that absolutely kills all shotgun runs I don't know if it kills base actually, but who runs base? Most of the shotgun runs are inside zone or outside zone, like in Gamma Traffic Sweep. Those, those are now really good against this defense. And it used to also help against I form I tight. Yeah, against I tight. It was really good against the stretch. It no longer works. It's the bench blitz three. Yeah. And I actually have a couple of things to say about that. First off, I made a tweet about this and it basically summarizes what my thoughts are. I want to go in a bit more detail though. The tweet that I wrote goes along the lines of it's not an issue because it's a way to stop the run and it's very much needed in men. Now that's not the only point that I have. And treating things like that as issues is in my opinion bad for people. Because just so you guys know that I'm very liberally minded if that's a word like i am of the opinion that if you don't know how to stop something you should learn how to stop something let me actually keep taking the monitor away because that way i'm not always looking at uh the audio wave i believe that if i don't know how to stop something and the next time that i run up on it and i still can't stop it that is my fault because there obviously are ways to defeat that strategy there obviously are because if there weren't, then everybody would run it and it work would work against everything. Obviously, it doesn't work against it didn't work against everything. So if I can stop it or if I can move the ball on it, then that is my fault. And it is actually a bad message to send. I don't I don't want to go all I don't want to go on my so soapbox and go all uh EA is teaching people not to try. But I think that it's a bad mindset from people to be like I can't stop this, or I, or, I, or I can't move the ball on this. Please fix it, EA. Please fix it, because otherwise I cannot play the game. If you, if you, if you can stop it and you don't care about it, that's fine. I read a tweet by, uh, what's his name? Freaking amazing. He's in God Fox's chat a lot of the times. He's a mod. He had a good point about this. Even. Uh, that even though he likes playing the game, he does not want to face these cheeses that throw roller cornhuts. That's me. So you guys, if you guys don't know, if you haven't seen, have never seen one of my videos before, I'm somebody that runs the gun bunch formation and I try to win every game that I play. I'm not good, but I definitely cheese, quote unquote cheese. Just so you guys know, probably a bit biased. I try to be as least biased as possible, but I'm not gonna act that I, I can talk about a topic like this and not have some preconceived notion of what's good and what's bad yeah and that is absolutely fine if you do not want to try hard in this game and if you're like i'm quitting i i respect people that know what they want 
and do that. However, there is a point where you cross the line. That point or that line is, in my opinion, when you force your will upon others. And I don't know how EA got the idea that they should patch this, probably because people cried about it. And I'm not saying... Yeah, I guess. I was about to say that I'm not, I'm not telling these people that g g g went to EA and complained about it. Fuck them because they complained. But I guess that's what, I, what I'm doing, so I don't want to say that. I think it's bad. Because you're, you're forcing your will upon a larger group of people. And even though there are probably the majority of people don't want this defense in the game because the I don't want to say casuals and more serious people. But I guess that's what I kind of have to say to make my argument. It is not good to put people in stereotypes, but these people that don't care that much about the game change the game for the people that do. And if you do not care that much about the game, then just quit the game. Either you want to play the game and you're that serious about it to quit, uh, to try to fight that, or you don't care about the game, meaning that you won't try to find ways to beat that, or you won't, just, just look on YouTube. Are you kidding me? Can, do, do, you know, do you know how to use a keyboard? If you know how to use a keyboard, then guess what? You know how to, how to beat that defense. You know it. It's really easy. I did a video about it. Literally just run RPOs. This defense gets destroyed against iform RPOs. Why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? I If I face this defense, guess what? I'm getting an iform slot and I'm pounding that fucking ball and there's no way you can stop it. There is no way. And it's not really a skill cap to know that because you just have to search on YouTube how to beat nickel 2 for 5 odd or how to beat new run defense. Because it was the newest run defense in the game. It was popping. Every video that everyone that did a video about it, it was popping. I don't know how many views my video got. Nah, I don't remember those kind of, these kinds of things. But it was popping. Everybody knew it. Everybody ran it. And it was fine because there were ways to beat it. And you forcing your will on us I think it's a bad look. I, I for, for sure think that it's a really... Sorry, that I charged my AirPods. I think that it's a horrible look on EA. Uh, that they get... That, they're cha that they change their game all willy-nilly just like that. It's not an issue in my opinion. It is an issue that people can't type on YouTube. And if you don't want to search on YouTube and if you don't want to get good at this game, that's fine. I'm saying the th same thing over and over again because I don't want me people to get this wrong. If you do not care about Madden, why should I force you to get good at the game? I'm not gonna. That's that's stupid. What's not stupid, what's even more stupid, however, is you being like, oh, I don't know how to how to um I don't know how to defeat this. So those people that put in the time to either lap something up themselves, which I personally didn't didn't do i guess i did it because i found that in myself it's not it's not complicated to find, find it i'm gonna be honest right here it's not tough to find those people that put in the time to either find it or look it up on youtube they should not get rewarded for that and i think that's total horse hockey and i think that it's total horse hockey, horse hockey also from ea's perspective which i guess i totally understand what where ea is coming from they have to sell the next game they cannot be like oh you think this is an issue well we don't because you th think about this, the people that are serious about men and know how to defeat these strategies that are that look fancy but are actually quite simple to beat, if not in the hand of hands of a very very competent player. And if you're running up against someone who's very competent and you don't know how to how to defend that base setup, and I'm sorry for it, then you were just gonna lose the game anyways. Even if you ran three four out or four first play, you were gonna lose the game. I mean, I'm sorry. That's just plain simple. Um, I lost my train of thought. Yes, I can. Okay, I got it. EA has to sell the next game. They can't be like, F you because you are bad at this game and you are not the one that should be asking for these changes. But I also think that there is... I, they should do that, and they should do it, do it in a polite way. Along the lines of, we understand that some people are struggling with this. 
but it is a strategy to stop to stop the run and we are not going to take out strategies unless they are absolutely glitching the game and i think that they they did kind of say that and they determined that that was a glitch and that is tough in my opinion because who do i think should be the people in who i think should be the people in charge of making those decisions they're not at ea and i guess i am sort of coming from a very narrow viewpoint from the people the people that are in charge should be in charge of making these decisions are the competitors they are the ones that know what is overpowered i want that fucks over there because he is sort of he's borderline between the care not casual between the people that care about this game but don't care about this game that much that they are gonna be like okay i'm gonna play this no matter what because at some point some people get fed up with the game and he is borderline that i think that he has a very good overview about what things should be in the game and those kinds of people should be sitting at at those tables i want michael skimbo skimbo over there i want problem over there i want all of the people that know more about competitive balance over there because whoever made that decision has no idea about Madden, really. There are far bigger issues in this game and they are not getting addressed. And once again, to those people who are like, oh, I can't stop this, so it's unfair. No, it's not unfair. I know that there are going to be some people in the comment section that are going to be like, I get what you're saying, but I still feel like this wasn't, this was a glitch. No, it wasn't. You know what is a glitch? Horrible pursuit angles. I said it. Terrible gap assignments. <laughs> Those things are not getting patched. What, because they're tougher to patch? But what do you think is a bigger issue? A single defense that you cannot run inside zone on. That's it. You can run the most powerful runs in the game out of strong H wing. The stretch alert X look, that is an RPO run pass option if you guys heard of it it got implemented this year for you guys that are complaining about this and you actually the ones that are complaining about this that they are like oh rpo's fan is gonna be like real football yeah there is some def this is a video game that's another point this is not realistic yeah it's not realistic it's a video game what are you talking about it's not realistic it's not gonna be realistic if you expect this game to be realistic then you're horribly wrong because it's code it's ones and zeros no it's not it's not ones and zeros it's far more complex but still it is code. It's not going to be like real life. It's a video game. Get over that. If you want to play if you want to play football in real life, then play football in real life. Please. Work your way up through high school, through college. Play in amateur leagues if you want real football. But don't tell me when I'm playing a video game when when I know this is a video game. Don't tell me that it's not like real life. I know that. So, What's your point? Yeah, and EA is kind of like buying into the argument. It's not realistic. Therefore, it's not good for the video game. Think about this. Is Rocket League realistic? No, but it's a video game and it's a damn good eSport. If you want to go the eSport route, the route of we want a game that measures skill, and we want to see who the best player is. And we want to market that as these are the best players. Then get away from realism. I mean, you can't get totally away from realism because this, after all, is a sim football game. But get away from the idea. It must be 100% like real life. And we want it to resemble that. I guess that's kind of the same. Because what you do when you say that, there is... RNG in, in real life, RNG random number generators, there are things, people get lucky. Football, there are so many lucky plays. I've seen so many fluky catches where like if that happens in a game, in a competitive game, like the one from Jermaine Kers, I'm a Seahawks fan, that's just the one that pops to my mind. Where he, he's midair, he bobbles the ball, he's on the ground and people, People are jumping over him and he's like, uh, uh, he catches it. Julian Edelman, Super Bowl 51. Are you kidding me? If that happens in a competitive game, I'm, I'm turning off the stream. Because I know that this is a horrible game. If you want it to be like real life, you're making a horrible mistake competitive wise. 
I either think it should be totally away from competitive men and make these real uh, these decisions to make the game more like real life or stop arguing Ira. I do not I do not I do not I do not want to, uh, to for the life of me want people that do not know how to defeat nickel 245 odd bench blitz 3 that do not know how to feed that how to, how to defeat this this singular defense to start complaining to EA and change the game for the people that actually care because guess what you just made iPhone tight a hell of a lot better a hell of a lot better and those are then again the people that are gonna be like oh, it's unrealistic they're running the ball every play yeah but if you're taking away run defenses as good as that that is it's not designed let's not kill yourselves it's not designed but that is run in order to stop this very annoying formation stop kidding yourself stop lying Stop lying. You are making horrible choices from, from the standpoint of how to make a good game. Because guess what? These same Timmies that are mad at this defense, they're also the ones that get excited about X-Factors and then get mad at X-Factors like escape artists. What were you thinking? What were you thinking where the, these X-Factors were going to be? Just some things that are in the game and they are not... They, are, they don't do nothing. They're special. They make these players perform better than other people. And I don't want to say that it gives the game more variety because it definitely doesn't. Everyone is using pretty much the same ones. But if you want to get up there and be excited and hype up X Factors, they're gonna give the each they're gonna give individual players special powers, and then you're surprised and mad about these special powers, then you are just you are just delusional. I'm very sorry. <sighs> yeah. These people do not understand that one thing leads to another thing. Uh, dashing that eye leads to rollout corners. But they are mad if they can't run behind the line of scrimmage as fast as they run past the line of scrimmage. Imagine this. 97 speed Michael Vick. Imagine a receiver running back there, sprinting full speed. Is that balanced? No. That is like dashing, uh, not dashing that. That is like escape artist at the beginning of the year. Was that fun? No, it wasn't. Okay. And those people that are like complaining about gameplay issues, I saw this one video by Soft Drink Sport, ma Sports. Maybe I will do a whole video on it because it really irritated me. One thing leads to another thing. He was complaining in the video about how dashing that eye is overpowered. And then a couple of minutes later, he said that he hates that the quarterback is behind this line of scrimmage is way slower than after the line of scrimmage. Are you kidding me? Well, guess what? You have, I don't know how much speed Lamar Jackson has in our life in uh, the... Uh, in regs, but an ultimate team currently has 99 speed. Imagine running a wide receiver sprinting back and forth back there, just as quick as he has behind the line of scrimmage. You you will get, <laughs> you will cry, to EA. You will be making the exact the contrary argument. He needs to be slower. Do you think before saying things? Come on, he wrote his, this guy, he wrote a script, which is like good because he did his due diligence and he wanted to put a quality video. But do you think about the things that you put on, the, on that script? Apparently not. Because these are the kinds of people that influence such decisions. Because I don't know how many views that video got, but he has like 50,000 subscribers. That video was viewed by many, many people. And all of them were like, he's right. Not knowing uh, the all of the things that are linked together in this game. And just in general, one change influences a new change. Yeah. And that is the thing. These people that got mad that their inside zones and th that their inside zones got blown up, they are also the ones that are mad that running the ball is so overpowered. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. And maybe to end the video on this note. Don't look up to your parents. In this case, as an analogy, I think everyone got that, but I'm just reiterating it. Don't look at your parents when you are not capable of doing something. Don't go to your parents and say, you know what? I can't speak French. Please remove French. Please just completely extinct this whole language. I'm horrible at Spanish. What am I doing? I'm not telling my teacher I'm I can't speak Spanish. Please don't exam. Uh, please please don't make me do this exam. I can't. It's not working. And it also wouldn't benefit me because I have to challenge myself to go study. Go study this damn language. Okay? So I think that it is very bad that people go around the world, uh, go live their daily lives and are like and have the opinion that everything needs to be catered to them. And I guess I'm sort of one of that person because I want this video game to stay the way it is and it is catered to me. I want this game to be catered to me. I want there to be no running. But I am smart enough to realize that this game cannot be made totally for me because it, then it's made for just me and not the other 10 million people that play it across both consoles and the 200 people that play it on PC. Gotta roast those PC players. Please, if you don't know how to stop something or if you don't have any, any knowledge on a game, don't fix that game. Don't complain about it. Just shut your mouth. I'm going to be very direct about this. Shut your mouth and think about the things you want implemented. Really think about it. Because guess what? You just made running the ball a hell of a lot easier. And I believe that a lot of people would love to know how to would have loved to have known how to run that defense. And probably a lot of them are just salty that they missed out on the fun. Yeah, I've been kind of like all over the place. My main point is don't run the ball in man 20, pass the ball, go check out my videos. See you in the next video. Peace. Out. Okay, this was probably not the best way to end the video, but I did not want to repeat myself all over again. This is a very complex topic, and if any of you guys want to debate that with me, you can write me a comment. Obviously, uh, you can tweet at me. Link is in the description. Go check that out. But yeah, just in general, this is a very complex topic, and if you guys feel offended by any of the statements that I said about not trying and just being bad at the game, feel free. It's just my opinion, it is an opinion piece, and please don't insult me for my opinion. Thank you. Also, I want to make this very clear. I'm not insulting the opinion of the people that uh, wanted this changed. I totally get that, that sometimes you do not do not want to try again hard in the game, but if you don't want to try hard in the game then don't force your will upon others that's my point thank you